wait for some people to come on in. Hey, hey, what's up, Chuck? We got an unboxing going on today. Happy Friday to everyone. Let me see if this volume is turned all the way up. Can you guys hear me? guys do the best I can happy Friday to everyone let's get some more people coming in shout out to Chuck shout out to Belinda shout out to to blow <laughs> blow Vine life shout out to thriller kid what's in the box yeah we about to get to it Shout out to KO. Yeah, Brody, I told Brody it's time for us to get to work. So Rocky Row in the house as always. For the thanks for the love. Sorry I have been lately hugs to ML family. Shout out to you, MB. It's all good, you know. You can fly away, but make sure to come back home. Shout out to Elena Trace. Happy Friday to everyone, guys. Happy Friday to everyone. Make sure you smash that like for me, y'all. Smash that like for your boy, man. All right? Let's see if you like my M-A-L in the back. Yeah, hit that like for me, guys. We got 29 people and we, we only got four likes. Hey, Miss R in the house. Let's get that like up. Let, let me get some, some likes, guys. Let me get some love. It's a good Friday. Can we get some, some, some likes? Hit that like for me. Let's get, let's get it up to at least like 20, 20 likes, guys. We have 30 people in the building. Let's get it popping. Shout out to Miss R. Oh, she... Definitely came through for the home team. I came home yesterday and there was boxes in front of my door and I was like so happy. I felt like a kid on Christmas. Come on, guys, get that like up. Let's get 20 likes. We got 11. We could do this. Let's go. Let's get that goal. Once we get that, get 20 likes, we'll get the show started. That's another way of supporting me. A pity like, you know, I call it a pity like. You have some pity for the boy and for the mission. Okay, we got 15. We got 15 likes. Let's go five more. We could do this. Teamwork makes the dream work. We could do this. I'm watching, guys. 16. Okay, here we go. It's 24. Yeah, hit the like. That's right, Belinda. Tell them. Let's get... That's the goal. The goal is 16 likes. Somebody just took away their like. <laughs> they are so funny. For real, you, you liked it and then you unliked it. 17, let's go. AML family, show them we could do this. Show them, you know, we are powerful. One more. Hey, woohoo! Let's get it, guys. Let's go. All right. Thanks to everyone for, for being here. Hope everyone is having a great day. Where, where are you at right now, guys? Tell me, where are you at? Are you at work? Are you at home? At the gym? At the grocery store? <laughs> driving? Tell me, where are you at? Okay, my phone battery is a little low, so, ouch, oh, so, already I just, 
Oh, you at home, Belinda? Okay, that's what's up. Happy Friday to you. Chuck is at home. Look, I'm eating popcorn and I just received some popcorn. Amazing. So I received similar thing last um last week and it was from Wisconsin. The people in Wisconsin they sent the popcorn. They said it was for me. But I didn't know it was for me because it was no name in it, but I automatically assumed it was for our brothers and sisters, so I took it to Kensington. But what happened was I got a message, an email saying that, Mal, those bag of popcorn was for you. I was like, oh, it's all good. You know, Mal love to share. But you know, they sent me more popcorn for me. But you know I'm still going to share, right? Thank you so much to the anonymous person who sent this. I, I know you're from Wisconsin or out there, but God bless you so much. Yeah, right? And I tasted these popcorn. It's really good. I love popcorn. So thank you so much. God bless you. Let me show you guys the full package. You can see we got the kettle. I don't think I had this con before, so I'm definitely going to open this bag next. So we got that. And we have butter. One of my favorites, go to the movie theater, Mal got to have extra butter on his popcorn. Yeah. So we got that one. Oh, we got more butter. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. I'm butter, baby. All right, thank you so much, Wisconsin. We out there. You guys are amazing. But before we go further, before we go any further to open up more gifts, I just want to give a big shout out to those people who I didn't give a, who I didn't do an unboxing for their stuff that they sent. So the first person I'm going to give a shout out to is, is Angie. Thank you so much, Angie. Angie sent this. Let me unput this on the side from there. But Angie sent me this hat. You guys can see it's a cool hat. It's gone. I'm definitely going to hold on to this when the weather gets cold. I'm going to keep it when it starts to snow. But thank you so much, Angie. This is one of the gifts she sent. And she also sent things. She sent um, some ponchos to put in the blessing bags. And I already gave those bags out already. So, yeah, I'm just, I just got to look at my... So I can make sure you guys are getting the, the angle. But yeah, shout out to Angie. You're awesome. Shout out to everyone in the house. Shout out to Mary. Shout out to the whole the whole AML family. Shout out to Mary Packer. You guys are awesome. Yeah, so this. And she sent this too. She sent that. Hold on, you know. Reflections. She sent that, and it says, it says that shine, I mean, um, stars can't shine without darkness, right? Stars can't shine without darkness. Make sure you guys don't see the ninja. Do you see it, right? Stars can't shine without darkness. And I believe she, she did this herself. I love art. So shout out to Angie. Thank you so much for this. I love this. It was hanging on my wall. And I took it off my wall just to come and show it to you. All right. So. And shout out to Kathleen P. Look at this little mailbox that she sent me. I have to look at this just to see. I got the angle right. Shout out to Kathleen P. See this little mailbox she sent me? You gotta see my big hands. I got some big hands. I call these hands to grip them. 
to grip things, you know, like to grip things. That's nice, right? That's cute. And if you open it up, I got a mail. Mal got a mail, guys. Something came in the mail for me. Look. Can you guys see it? Got a mail. It says my name on it. Excuse my hands if it's ashy or, or if my hands is dry. I just put some, some oil on these rough hands. Vaseline. <laughs> but yeah, see that? That's Kathleen P. Let me open it up. Oh, look. It's a kitty cat. You guys see that? It's a nice little kitty cat, right? You know, Mal is a cat daddy. Shout out to all the cat mommies and all the cat daddies out there. Let's open it up. See what it says. Let's see. It says, Mal, you're awesome. You're awesome. It's scary. Happy Valentine's Day, Kathleen P. Treat yourself. She sent me $50. So God bless her. And she sent me two bags of chocolate. Guess what? I ate both of those bags. One night, I was just popping chocolate after chocolate. She sent me some, some nice Hershey kisses. And I just went in. So shout out to Kathleen. That was amazing. Thank you so much. I'm going to put this on the side. This one right here. Guys, let's see, let's see, let's see the next one. This is... I'm trying to get a good angle of it. This is from Christine from Wisconsin. Wisconsin, I'm, excuse me. This is from Christine from Wisconsin. She said, Mal, enjoy your tea. You, you don't have to put your tea in a microwave no more. And then you can have some official tea. You can actually brew your own tea. So that's so that's awesome. I can make my own tea, guys. And she's she sent a variety of flavor tea for me. So that's awesome. And look at this little. And look at this cute little thing. Look at this cute little thing, guys. Oh. I'm trying to make you guys get the look at this cute little thing. It looked like something from Aladdin. It looked like a genie can come out of here. If I rub it three times, is somebody gonna grant me three wishes? <laughs> but that's awesome, right? Shout out to Chris Stain from Wisconsin. That's a nice stainless fashionable. You can put the boy. Oh, yeah, Miss R. Thank you for the tutorial. You know Mal is a country boy. All right. I'm a country boy. A country boy who came to the city. But yeah, thanks. Thanks, Christine. Thanks. Thanks to Angie. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's get into let's get into some to some heavy unboxing all the way from our girl Miss R showing love as always. She's amazing. So let's see. She she sent one, two, three, four, four boxes, and I'm always amazed. On the job that she that she does with these boxes, it's amazing. So Karen, God bless you, dear. You know I can't tell you 
thank you enough. You have, I have a billion thank you for you. And you have been consistent, almost going on two years now. So let's see what's in the box. Oh, clothes. Nice, we got some clothes. Let me get my popcorn out the way and we're gonna dig into these clothes, all right? Let's see what our dearest Miss R sent for the family. People are gonna be so happy. Let me slide this on the side. I'll try to look at the text messages best I can, all right guys? I'll try to do the best I can to read comments as we go along. Let's give ourselves some space. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying. Let me see what you guys are saying about what's going on in my last live chat. Okay, welcome. Yay, man. Let's hear you. Shout out, Mark. Shout out, shout out to Mark. Shout out to Marlene. Shout out to everyone that's watching. Tell me, where are you, where you at? Are you home? A few people said it was home. Tell me where you at. So you can see you got some nice sweat, sweatpants. These are popular. I like these. It's Miss R rocks. Okay. It's nice, right, guys? It's comfortable. Drawstring too. Okay, let's let's go and move along. Let's see what else we have. A nice, nice shirt. You guys can see that. It's nice, right? That's lovely. Mickey Mouse. Oh, that's cool. I know how to do stuff like this. That's um, HTV. That's what I have. I do stuff like this. So that's awesome. Thanks to everybody for watching. You know I'm going to go back and look at the live and see all the comments. Okay, we you home? Okay, you guys are home. Awesome, awesome. AML, hello to AML family worldwide. That's what's up, Mary Timmy. Relaxing in St. Cloud, originally from the Bronx, New York. Yo, shout out Bronx, New York. That's where my dad used to live in the Bronx. So shout out. If you're new, welcome to the family. Hit that like, that like, and that subscribe for me. It's a nice polo sweater. That's that's nice, guys. You guys know about polo. Ralph Lorraine. Nice. Somebody's going to be nice and comfortable wearing that sweater. Okay, let's see. What else we got? We got some nice denim jeans. Yeah, these jeans is nice. See that? Gap. Oh, you guys remember the Gap? Shout out to the Gap. Is the Gap still in business? I haven't heard anything from the Gap in a while. Is the Gap still in business, guys? Now I've been under a rock, so I don't know if the Gap is still in business, but I remember the Gap from New York. That was a nice store to shop at. Chat, do you guys know if the Gap is still in business? Okay, Rocky Road, yeah. Wow, shout out to the Gap. The Gap had a long run. Yeah, shout out to the Gap. Wow, that company been around since I was a teenager. Yeah, shout out to the, the Gap is still doing this thing. The Gap, the Gap was Levi's, okay. The Gap, 
The Gap is still in business. Okay, thanks, guys. I've been under a rock, like I said. <laughs> Gap opening Canada. Okay, all right. Shout out to Mary. Mary in the house. Mary near this. Hope you're feeling a little better, Mary. I know you haven't been feeling too well. I hope. You know you. I hope you heal. This one is. I, I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not gonna try. But you guys, you know, it's nice. Like James. James is one thing. Okay, let's move along. Let's see what else we got. Okay, guys, let's see where we at. Timothy, much love. I'm, I'm not, but thanks. Shout out to Eva. Okay, Mary, that's good. God is good. God is good, Mary. I love to hear that. You feeling much better. That makes me happy. Because when my friends are not feeling well, you know, I I don't feel good. Because you guys are good people. And I just want y'all, I want, sometimes I wish I could take your pain away. And I wish I had that power to take away your pain. Hollister, Hollister is another good, good brand, Hollister. People gonna love this haul. Miss R, I'm calling your stuff a haul. <laughs> they gonna love this haul, Miss R. They be, we love all your hauls. Because they, they are all packed with love. So you guys can see. Let me show you guys well, well. Okay. Let's move along. Let's move along. I'm going deeper and deeper into the box. Let's see where we at. Much love. I'm not, but thanks. Okay, that's why I left off that. Shout out to Brandy. Brandy, Southern girl. Shout out to you. Oh, my, my, my cash app is AML Films, but you got to put the dollar sign first at the A. You got to put the dollar sign, then you put AML. No, I'm sorry. AML Films Official. Yeah, AML Films Official. Thank you so much if you want to, you know, send some love to the boy. It will be greatly appreciated. But you don't have to, but I appreciate it. Look at this. That's nice. If I was a girl, I'll, I'll rock this. I like white. That's like, white is my favorite color. If you don't know what my favorite color is, my favorite color is white. But they said white is next to godliness. I'm not saying I'm God. I'm just saying clean, you know, you stay clean. It's something about white just looks good. Black too. Black is my other favorite color. Let me see what you guys are saying. Love the outlet store. Thriller Kid. Sometimes people, sometimes people be, be playing with my feelings. <laughs> I'm not saying that the lady who says, asked for my cash app is, is playing, but sometimes people be playing with my feelings. They'll come up here, they'll be like, Mal, what's your, what's the name? I'm going to send you something. Then they don't send it. The last time I was on the live, the guy was like, yeah, I'm going to, we're going to get you a call. What's your email? We're going to get you a call. I'm going to get you a car. He was like, kept on saying that. I was like, for real? I was all happy and excited. You think he got back? Nope. If you're out there, you probably taking your time. Well, at least you should you should email me, tell me something. But yeah, but you know, people come up here and be gassing my head up, you know? Gassing my head up. <laughs> I'm not saying this. I'm, you know, I'm not saying this is just in general, dear. 
the lady who asked about my cash app. This is just in in general. But people come up here and say stuff like that. Gas my head up, man. They don't send me nothing. This is nice. Who favorite color is blue? Where the blue, where the blue people at? Let me see. Yo, Latina in the house. Shout out to Latina. Mark in the house. Hanging, how about you? Okay, all right. False promises, first smile. Yeah, Mary. You know, they be, they be hyping me up. And, I, and, you know, I trust people. But sometimes they be like, nope. Yeah, some people just come on my live just to, to, to say stuff like that to me. You know, to, to play with me, to play with my feelings. Some people do that. Remember that live I was doing, the person said it was going to give me a call. It was asking for my email, everything, and I was all excited. This is nice. So now when people say stuff like that, I, you know, I don't know if to believe it or not unless i know you know you like you know know you like some people i really know from aml family i you know i trust them so if they say stuff they don't even tell me they just do it you know they surprise me they, they like to surprise me this is really nice i like how they got the cross and you know, the cross design like i said this is a really nice haul this is a really good haul miss r God bless you. A lot of nice things in here. Okay, let's let's see what's in here. Oh, this is wow, look at this one, guys. Let me drink some water real quick. Alright, let's get to it. Let's see where we at now. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my girl, Brody. I will wear that for Easter. Absolutely, right, Marlene? It's nice. Let's get into this bag. Let's see what's in this bag, guys. Ladies, y'all gonna have to help me out, because Mal, don't even, is this like, this is really nice. It's just like some type of, I don't know, guys. Help the boy Mal out. Tell me what that is. Educate me. I love being educated on things that I don't know. Can you guys tell me what that is? Do anybody know what that is? A bracelet for candles? Okay, yeah, because I, I see it have like this thing, you know, it's like. See inside of it? For candles, a cup holder. A bracelet. <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Mary. You get. I mean, um, Rocky Road. I, I don't think it's a bracelet. I think it's for like a candle. A candle holder. Okay, yeah, guys. Yeah, I think that that's what it is. A candle holder. Okay, let's put that on the side. You know, I'm learning. We got some. What it seems like some. I don't know. Let me, let me open it up so we can. We're going to open it up, guys. I'm going to show you guys each, each item in here. I'm going to show you guys each thing that's in here. So you guys can see what that is. Bring it, get you a close up. Excuse my big hands. It's called a grip. The grip. Okay, you know what that is already, that's soap. I don't gotta show you guys too much of that. Let's see what that is. Mm. 
Marry Russian girl now. <laughs> I marry anyone that's gonna be easy with my heart. If you're not going, if you're not gonna be, I need somebody that's gonna be easy with my heart. So it don't matter who you are, so long as you you're easy with my heart, we're all good. And I'll do the same for you too. Okay, let's put this on the side. Oh, look. I'll show you guys what that is. Yeah, happy Easter to everyone. Shout out to the whole, to the whole gang. You guys like stuff like this? If I was younger, I'd be easy on your heart. <laughs> Oh, you guys are sweethearts. You're all sweethearts. Okay, let's go see what else is in here. Let me see what's, what's the... Oh, this is shampoo and conditioner. I, everyone, before you get into it, into a relationship with somebody, get to know that person's story, get to know that person past, their childhood, get to know their roots before you get into a relationship with a person. So you'll know how to treat that person. So let me see. See that? Nice one. So it's it. Wow, so this one is body lotion. Body lotion. A lot of people never, a lot of people that's out there never have real love. They never got love. You got to teach some people how to love because they, they, they was never taught love. A lot of people been hurt. A lot of people carrying a lot of pain inside of them that they haven't held from yet. So you got to get to know all those things about, about, about a person before you get into a relationship with them. So in this bag, the yeah, conditioners, yeah, so this bag is filled with conditioners. That's what's in this bag, conditioners. Let's see what you got. Shout out to Jackie, Jackie in the house. Shout out to Liz, Lizzie, Katrina in the house. There. They are going to have gift certificate for grocery stores, 500. I think they said a couple. Timothy, I got, I got to check. I got to look, look into that. Yeah, I got to look into that. Yeah, shout out to everyone, everyone watching. And I'm doing my best to show you guys everything slowly because sometimes my anxiety get me and i be moving like i got an itch how are you guys hey liz we're we're doing we're doing great you know we're we're alive we're alive we're alive We're not in jail. We're not in jail. We're not six feet. We're alive. We're alive. So to me, I'm, we're doing great. So yeah, that was, that was the, 
I guess I will call this. How how do you call this? It's it's a word for this stuff. <laughs> cosmetic. I don't know if it's cosmetic or. But yeah, let me put this back. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got. Okay, guys. Okay, we got a nice blue. Well, this is nice. This is gonna make somebody stand out in the crowd. Okay. Okay, guys. I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me on this Friday. You guys are awesome. I'm letting that phone charge because it ain't have no juice inside of it. It was dead. So I got it plugged into the into the power. This is nice, right? That's cute. Like I said, men like women's stuff is okay. It don't make you less of a man. You know who you are. Men like women's stuff. Women like men's stuff. And I like this. You're going to be showing some skin. <laughs> this right here means you're going to be showing some skin. That's what that is. All right, you're gonna be showing some skin. And this nice little pattern, you know, it's cute. Okay, let's move along. We got another blue, okay. This is nice too. You guys can see it's a V, it's a V neck. I like V necks. Do any of you guys like V-necks? Tell me if any of y'all like V-necks. Mal is multi multitasking, Brandy. Oh yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh you oh, oh you wanna make oh yeah, um Brand Brandy, definitely I I have to I'll check when I when I get off live because my other phone is is doing that and I'm over here. But yeah. It's going to come to me, all right? I appreciate you. I'll definitely check as soon as possible, all right? God bless you a billion times. And where that came from, may many, many more go back to you and go back there. Yeah, so shout out to all my V-neck crew. I like V-necks. If you don't like V-necks, it's cool. Yeah, rest in peace to that. Rest in peace to the Cash App guy. He he got stabbed to death. You guys heard that news about the the guy who um started Cash App? He got stabbed to death. That's crazy. That is crazy. Look up. This is cute. But yeah, guys, have you guys heard about that news? I know y'all heard about that news. I'm wearing V-neck now, black top. Okay, Marion. Okay, shout out to the V-neck crew. Yes, right? Rocky Road. Mary. Yeah, that was so sad. I heard that now. He was stabbed in San Francisco. Damn. No suspect yet in custody. Damn. Yeah, that's sad, man. Like, every year... Something horrible happened. Every year something horrible happened. That's sad. And he was a very young, he was young. He wasn't even, you know, he was he was very young. That's a nice bag, right? You guys like this? I see you going around town with this. Yeah, rest in peace. To all those who we lost. It's a crazy world out here. You gotta be you gotta be awake. That's why I said jealousy. Oh what what? 
I, I heard he was he was planning to sue somebody. You know, I'm not 100 percent sure. It's that's what I heard online. Like he was planning to sue somebody or planning to to do something in court with somebody. And that's when this happened. I, I think they may have killed him because they are trying to get rid of Oh yeah, I heard about that too, Sarah. Yeah, it's deep. Yeah, they say they say they're trying to have everybody like, I guess, um, yeah, get get rid of the cash and have people like she said, use use coins. I, I think something like that. But yeah, it's very deep. I guess they want everybody using like cards and stuff, like like chips and stuff. I heard like they have people already that have the chip inside of them and they paying for stuff with, with chip and it's deep guys. It's like the way the world is going, they're gonna have everybody like, they trying to make everybody like computers so that way they can just scan you. <laughs> they can just scan you. What if, you know, you get a chip inside of it, they can just scan you, that's all they want. To have control of everybody. Oh, look at these fancy belts. I've lost so many family members, I'm starting to just be numb. Oh, Belinda. Yeah, that's deep. Mm. Yeah, don't never lose your... Don't never lose your, your, your feelings, Belinda. Because sometimes when you... Try to numb those feelings. Sometimes you, you don't come back from it. You don't come back from being numb. Sometimes you just be stuck numb. So don't don't get stuck numb because that's not a good place to be, dear. You know? Yeah, these are nice, nice belts. Sometimes I, I feel like I feel your pain. Sometimes this world is so horrible. It's hard to be a good person because. This world is shitty. It's a shitty world because of the people that's in this world. It makes this world a shitty place and it makes it harder for you to be a good person. But trust me, Belinda, the world needs people like you who, who are not going to stay numb and who are going to, you know, have that compassion for, for humans, the world, people out there need us. I know it's hard, you know, people take advantage, people are leeches, all these things that comes with being a nice person, it attracts these type of people, but there are people out there who really need us. And so we can't never let the evilness of this world change who we who we are as a person you know yeah we got some fancy belts in the house look at this one I like that I'm so sorry about that Andrea yeah we have lost so many of our brothers and sisters to that monster so that's why we have to keep on Spreading awareness, so it's all about prevention and treatment right now. Prevention and treatment. So we got to amplify our message as much as we can in hopes of saving as many lives as we can. It's an ugly picture. Addiction is a really, it's an evil picture. Even when I go film, I don't like filming it, but I have to do it because that's exposing the devil. That's not a, I'm not shaming the people. I'm shaming the devil, what he's doing to these people. And people should pray for them instead of, you know, putting them down. Pray for them. My job is to bring them into the light. I bring them into the light. And if you can't help them, just pray for them. Because that's the work of the devil. And you have to bring darkness to the light. And that's what I do. I bring the darkness to the light. 
And a lot of people are upset about that. They want to keep it under the rug. So that way more and more people can fall victim. Like myself and other people out there. Yeah, these are some really nice belts, right? And belts is always needed out in Kensington because I see people with shoe strings, with bed sheets around their waist. So this is definitely needed. A lady from the church, she told me that some of these people that make the drugs, they put a curse on the drugs for people to, to go insane. The lady told me that and I believe it because some of these drugs got these people really acting insane out here. So these some of these drugs are cursed. And I believe that what that lady told me. They put a some of these dealers put a curse in the drugs. Because I see some people do some things when they when they take drugs that that blows my mind that they would never in a million years imagine doing This is a nice bag, right guys? It's fancy. One of our sisters is gonna be fly with this bag. It's really nice. You guys like that bag? Yeah, Jackie, that's what the, that's what I was told. They curse, they curse the drugs, and that's why some people when they take these drugs, they are out of their mind. And that's the work of the devil. So anybody who get mad at me for exposing the devil, you're, you're part of it too. Because you have to bring the darkness to the light. And what, what killed darkness? What is the only thing that can kill darkness? The light, right? Light is what killed darkness. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I took long. I'm sorry I took long on that haul. We have three more boxes to go through. But they are as not as big. Well, some are, but I love this. Okay, let's get back to it, guys. This is once again for my girl, Karen. She come through for the home team. Always showing us love. We appreciate our girl Karen. She's amazing. All the way from Miami, Florida. I can imagine all that she has spent. Her time, her money. Karen is going to be a castle, a kingdom. Not a castle, a kingdom. A kingdom. Be yeah, a castle because you're a princess. You can have everything. Castle, prince, kingdom, whatever you want. Whatever you imagine, Karen, is going to be waiting up there for you. There is a special place that you're going to go. You're going to go to a special, a special place, Karen. And everyone else, you guys who support who show love? All of you guys is gonna to go to a special place too. Let's see what we got. Let me pull it up. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with Brody. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Brody come out. And you know what I got, right? This is, I think TNT Greg sent that for her. If I'm not mistaken, one of our family members sent this for Brody. So. You know what they said, right? Temptation, shake it, and it will come. Let's see if this works. It's time for Brody to come up. I know she hear it. Tell you guys, I got a special guest coming up. Hi, Brody. Say what's up, family. They've been asking about you. They they was wondering why you're not helping me. I'll give you guys a few seconds of Brody action. <laughs> You're licking your chops. Tastes good, right? Okay, Brody. They were just wondering why, why you wasn't around. And I had to let them know you out there somewhere. Okay, guys. I just had to show y'all Brody really quick. Have your Brody time. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Woo! Oh man, yo, Miss R, you you had me like my heart dropped for a minute. I thought this was Bud. <laughs> oh man, when I saw this, I thought Miss R sent the boy some Bud. I was like, huh? I'm gonna be lit. <laughs> That's a good one, Miss R. I really thought this was like some bud up here. I'm like, yo, what type of bud is this? That's a good one, Miss R. You got the boy. <laughs> yeah. Yo, she got me, guys. I was about to be like, yo. I'm set for for a minute. It's going to be definitely a good Friday. So love. All right, that was a nice one to say. Home is where my cat is. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Home is where my cat is. You guys, you can see we got a nice bag, right? Somebody gonna like this. Bags is always needed. Okay, let's see. It's another nice bag. Oh, look, got a fancy water bottle. That's nice. All right, guys, that's nice. Got a nice water bottle. And you guys are gonna see when I go back out there, I'm gonna give out all these things like how we always do. Try to give some to the women at the recovery house too, you know, show them some love. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Polka dots. You know about the polka dots, right? Polka dots is always cool. Nice. 
nice. Oh, it's a sleeping bag. It's nice. Yeah, it's a nice sleeping bag. It's nice, mess nice. off. Uh, okay, all right. Let's keep it going, guys. Thank you for spending your Friday with me. This moment, this time in your life you've given to me. Thank you. Look at this. That's a nice husky Victoria's Secret bag right here, guys. I'm going to put my bud in the, in the corner. Let's see what we got over here. We got this Victoria's Secret. Oh, look at that. She always got surprises. Each bag is a surprise. Okay, you know, books, education, learning, creativity, keeping your mind busy, stickers. Nice, right? It's a nice book. Let's see what else we got. You guys have seen so many unboxing from Miss R, right? All the things that she's she have sent over the years. All you have to do is just go in my playlist and, and check out donations. I gotta add these live unboxing to that category, to that playlist. Oh, this is nice. All right. The sun. Oh, that's a sunflower. It's nice. It's nice. Let's see what else we got. We got some watercolors. You know, you remember our class, guys? Have any... How many people had art class in high school or junior high school? Who remember art class? Do any of y'all like art class? Art class was my favorite. What class in school was your favorite? Whether it was middle school or high school, what was your favorite class? You went to art school, Lizzie? Oh, that's awesome. You have an Instagram? Where can we check out your work? Yeah, you know I love art. And art doesn't even have to be drawing. Everything is art. Just by the way a woman does her makeup is art. The way you dress is art. The way you do your hair is art. The way you dance is art. The way you talk is art. That's me. That's just how I see art. Everything is art in this world. You love to draw, Belinda? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mary, he love art class. Yeah, art is awesome, right? When you go and see some beautiful paintings, Oh, you go somewhere, you see some beautiful flowers. All those things is art. It's beauty all around you. Like they say, you just have to open your eyes. I might create one now. Hey, now is the time to put your art out there because social media has taken over the world. And it ain't like back in the days where you would have to go out there and sell your art. But now you can just sell your art right from the comfort of your living room or wherever you at. And social media just make things easy now for artists. That's why you see you go on Instagram, TikTok, all those platforms, everybody's showing their art. They're getting themselves out there. Yeah, that's my girl, Button Eyes Brody. My jet queen, she's a jet queen because she's so fast. I call her jet queen. Yeah, 
Yep, Leslie, you should definitely take a, take advantage of the wave that is that is going around right now with social media. You can you can even put the camera on you and show the process. You don't even have to show yourself. You can show you just the, the process of you drawing or what whatever it is that you know it's your art. You can just show yourself. You don't. You, I mean, you can just show the process, and people will people will watch you, and people will buy. People will buy your stuff because people like stuff that's that's original, and a lot of people are supporting, you know, artists who are not like I would say famous yet because of reason of reasons. That's nice, little sunflower. This would be a top, right, ladies? This would be a top. I like lace. I'm a guy who like lace. <laughs> Keep it real with you. I like lace. I like stuff like this. This, in my eyes, is sexy. You know, I I call it this sexy. Oh, look at this. That, that's fancy. That's that's stylish. This is... I like this. Somebody can put this together, put this out, put this with an outfit, and it'll be smoking. Smoking hot. Put this with an outfit. You, you, you know how to coordinate clothes. You know how to dress, put your colors together. You can put a nice outfit together with this and be... Killing the game. Yeah, but this is nice, right? Jones, New York. Show you guys the back of it. No, first, see? Look, you didn't even see it had like a little thing. Like this little thing right here, like a little tie. It's like a tie. I'm a guy, so, you know what I'm saying? Women things all crazy, but yeah, it looked like, look like a tie. But I like it. I would love to see this on somebody. And that's nice. Okay. Let's move along. Hope you guys are not busting on me. Feminine black lace. Yeah, I like lace. Ladies, yeah, wear some lace for your man, okay? We like lace. Okay, let's go. Well, wear whatever makes you happy or makes you comfortable. But if you can't, you want to do something special for your man, wear some lace. But wear whatever makes you happy and makes you comfortable. But if you wear lace, your man going to okay. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> so like, okay, sweetheart. Now I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, let's get it. Oh, this is nice. I like the colors. This is another nice one too. I'm sure somebody could make this into a nice outfit. Let's see what you guys are saying. Want to miss nothing? Awesome online. Publish your book. Yeah, yeah. Publish your book online. I'm just catching up on the comments. That's great. House painting. Yeah, you could do all those things, and just point your camera towards the canvas and draw, and people will watch you. People, you know, you'll find your your own tribe that like what you do. That too look good with a blue jeans. Okay, Andrea. See, Andrea know her. She, she got she got sauce. She know how she know how to put sauce on things. She know how to put her seasoning together and have it looking really nice. Dressing is like seasoning, you know, like seasoning you put in food is like dressing. You gotta put this and this together for it to look good. You don't wanna go outside looking like you're going to the circus. 
Unless, <laughs> unless, unless you just, you know, you don't care. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, it's just be comfortable and happy. But remember that show? They used to come snatch people and take them for makeover and stuff. And you see when they get that makeover, they themselves be like, wow, I didn't, I didn't know I can do this. I didn't know I look like this if I had this together. That's why a lot of people got stylists, stylists, right? To help them dress. Because some of us, we would put black socks on the white socks together. And that's our outfit. Like me, I'll wear a black and a white socks and I'm good. Oh, look at this. That's a butt pad. Oh, look at this. That's, 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 that's how y'all be doing us, ladies. This is how y'all be doing us, ladies. What, what, what is this? Guys, I'm confused. You got to tell me what is this. Just in case I come across it out there, I will be prepared. What is this, guys? I want to be prepared when I come across something like this. Can somebody explain to me? Because I'm lost in the sauce. Make your butt looks bigger. Oh. oh, okay, all right. Okay, thanks. I got it. That explains a lot. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. Okay, all right. It is what it is, right? You know, some of us, we're not blessed with, you know, some of us. That's what we was given. So we have to work with what we are given. Yeah, but thanks for explaining that to me because I was lost in the sauce. I didn't know what was going on there. Somebody definitely going to wear that. They're going to be like, yo, my butt's getting big. I take it to Kensington. They're going to love that. This is a nice color. Pink bubble gum. That's nice. Pink is a beautiful color. Always remind me of breast awareness. Okay, let's keep it going, guys. I'm like, I'm learning. See, you guys is teaching me a lot. I'm learning. Because that one right there, to be honest, I didn't know what that was, guys. I was, I just want to be prepared. I don't want to be scared, but prepared. This is a nice Tommy Hill figure. Red is another sexy color. Right? You guys know red. Red is a sexy color. It's a it's aggressive, but it's sexy. It all depends on how you pull it off, how you put it together, how you put your seasoning together. Okay, we got some feet way in the building. Okay, oh, look at that. These are some class. It looks comfortable. It reminds me of like Pumas. You know Pumas? That's what this reminds me of, some Pumas. Because I remember Puma had like similar thing like this, the Pumas. Do people still wear Pumas? That's another question I want to ask y'all. Do, do people still wear Pumas? You know Pumas, P-U-M-A? I don't think I've seen anyone with some Pumas in a long time. Have you have you guys seen anyone with some Pumas? Or do you know what is Pumas? They look like Pumas. Right? They do look like Pumas, right, Mary? I haven't seen Pumas in a long time. Lizzie said people don't wear Pumas no more. Is Puma still in business? If I Google Puma, can I buy a pair of Pumas? <laughs> Is that company still in business? Let me see what you guys are saying. Is Puma still in business? Yeah, right, Mary? I ain't seen Pumas in a while. God didn't bless me with much love of behind. Now, Lady K, it's okay. You know, we're not blessed with everything out there, you know. That's the hand 
the hand that we was dealt is the hand that we have to play. And you see how many people are going out there enhancing things to make themselves happy. Because they were not blessed with certain things. But we, each of us have a gift. Each of us have a gift, a unique, unique gift that we have. But we just have to find it, that's all. That's the only thing, we just have to find what our gift is. And sometimes, hard times, pain, pain that you go through can, can birth your purpose in life, can show you your gift in life. Hard times that you go through can birth your purpose. This is really nice. This is nice. I like this. Yeah, it's really nice. That's a nice one. So remember, guys, after this, we have two more boxes to go, and then it's a wrap. Then we'll be clocking out. Now we'll be clocking out for the day. Got to go get, find something to eat. This is nice. Tada. You know, this is, this is fancy and got some, like, I like the colors, the purples, the blue, yeah, the green. I was trying to learn how to do tie-dye t-shirts. I'll learn it. Because that's what's trending right now. People do these tie-dye tie, tie design and then they put a, you know, HTV sublimation on it like something like this exactly what i'm talking about you know they put they do it like this and then they put htv vinyl they put vinyl on it and that's what i use vinyl but this we this right here just remind me of peace like the peace the peace sign this is like peace to me like if i see somebody waving this it's like a peace a peace sign Okay, let's, oh, this is cool. I like that. You guys can see. Oh, this is a drawing book. It's a nice little drawing book. I like it. Okay, guys. Boom. Okay, let's see. Yeah, once I... I'm done this live. I will check out the cash app. Oh, I like these. Wow, I like this. This this is fancy. This got a lot of sauce to it. See that, guys? This is nice. It's something that you don't see every day. When you, when I go out there, it's, this is something that stands out. If somebody will, will wear this out there, it will stand out because it's something... You don't see every day. And it all depends on the seasoning that they put on it when they go outside. How it's going to look in the end. What shoes you're going to wear with. What top you're going to wear. How you're going to do your hair. All these things. It's your seasoning. Okay, guys. We're almost there. We are working hard. This is... Remind me of some PJs, something for you to wear in the house. It feels comfortable. Scratchy too. Okay. Ladies, y'all know what this is. I, I think I know what it is. Something to just wear in the house and relax. Well, I know some people will wear this to Walmart. You be seeing those type of things people be wearing to Walmart? <laughs> Not making fun of them, but they just they just be cracking me up sometimes because people be wearing some stuff. You guys know some of us we go into Walmart looking ratchet. Hope you don't run into somebody that know you though. But we all have our days where we go out there looking ratchet. You can't go outside looking like Cinderella every day, huh? Some days you look 
some days we look like raggedy and you know we, we have those days you're gonna have those days where you look like raggedy raggedy and it's okay but your your bounce back is that's the game changer you know so this is box we have after this box we got one more box to go guys and and I'll be out of your way. Dancing down the aisle in those. <laughs> yeah, those ones are good. You know, that's not bad. So somebody could wear that in the Walmart and they'll be all right. But I have seen some things that some people, people don't need to wear to, to go outside. It's just like... Too, too much sauce. I had this one, I had this one ex that even if she was going to the store just to buy milk, she would dress up like she was going to a party. I, I couldn't understand that. I'm like, why are you going to buy chicken wings and you dressing up like you're going to try out for American Idol or something? And she told me, Mal, <laughs> she said, Mal, I can go out there and I can meet somebody that I know or somebody, you know, that, I don't know, but she just made it seem like if you, you got to be looking your best all the time when you're outside because you never know who you're gonna run into. And she told me the same thing about cleaning your house. She said, always make sure you're cleaning your house because you never know who's gonna to wanna to use your bathroom. Lessons that I learned on my on my way up the ladder. Okay, let's see what's in this box. We got a nice a nice sports. That's it. Sportsman. A straw hat. This is a straw hat. And she was right when she said, "Always clean your house because you never know who's gonna come and visit you and want to use your bathroom and all those things." You guys know when somebody want to come and visit you, that's the time you want to clean your house and stuff. But some people don't tell you to come in and visit you. They just come unannounced. And then you be like, oh, damn. And they go use your bathroom and all these things. And it's, you know, they're going to leave and talk, talk about you to people. Let me push this on the side. Yeah, but I never, you know that. That always, you know, I was a little bit jealous when she used to always go to the store. I'm like, but why you got to dress up all fancy just going to buy milk and stuff? Okay, guys, let's move along. Okay, this is a nice baby blue. Some nice stuff for the guys. Okay, we get into some, into my zone. We get into the men's zone now. Here we go. I'll rock this. Yeah, I'll rock this. With some white air forces, right? Rock this with some white air. Oh, what, what is this? Oh, guys, look, some Nordica joint too. You know Nautica? Where my people from the from the nineties, from my people from the nineties that you know Nautica. Nautica was was lit. When Nautica came out, I had to give me a Nautica long sleeve, had a I had a Nautica cologne. Yeah, Nautica was popping. You guys remember Nautica, right? When Nautica came out, Nautica was lit. Let me see what y'all are saying. That's the the old days. That's true, man. Let me see. Oh man. 
Yeah, right, that's a nice shirt. Yeah, let me see. Let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. Okay, let's see. Okay. That's nice. Nice one. Oh, it's, I said Miss Oz, like, she goes above to put all these things together. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. This one is nice. This would be like a, a button up or uh, they, they have a name for this type of shirt. What's the, what's the name for this type of shirt, guys? I can't think of it right now. It's not it's not a button up because a button up is like a dress shirt. But what's the name for this type of shirt? I forgot the name of it. Not the brand, but the style. A polo, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Sometimes the rooms that I got certain things in in my head is like it go empty and I can't remember what I what I put in those rooms. <laughs> so thanks, thanks guys. Yeah, that's a polo. Yeah, it's a nice polo. Yeah, that's a nice one. See, you guys are awesome because when I forget things and I, you guys re put my memory back, give me back my memory. So this is another polo, right guys? Will you say this is another polo? This one is nice. Right, that's another polo. What's up, Mark? Mark in the house. Yeah, this is a nice color. Who like orange? Who like orange? Who color is orange? Yo, Lady Kate, for real, sometimes I wish I, I, I wish, I wish I had everything that I forgot on a memory stick that I can just put in my head and I won't have to be lost sometimes. I, I got all those data already implanted on my memory stick in my head. Because sometimes you forget things, you know? And sometimes when you when you when you need that information at a time where it's valuable, you can't you can't think of it. Then you be like, oh man, it's like when you're in a debate or when you're in an argument with somebody, then something that you wanted to say that could have killed that person whole you know conversation, you you ain't think about it because you can't think of the words at the time. Cause that room, <laughs> that room you had that information in got empty and you you got lost. Cause in your mind, you have a bunch of different pathways in your mind. And these pathways, that's where your information be sometimes. Don't mind me, I'm just talking smack guys. I'm just running my mouth, ain't making no sense. It's another polo. This is nice. I like this. This is like a uh, canary, right? C canary yellow. Canary yellow is nice. I, ha I have seen some people wear canary yellow and they put it together nicely. It look really nice. All depends on how you, you know, the outfit that you match it with. But yeah, this is a nice one. Yeah, Miss R came through for the guys too. Show the guys some love. Okay, guys, refresh my memory. I know this is a V-neck, but what's what style is this? Refresh my memory. What would you call this style right here? Vest. Okay, it's a vest, right? Will you guys say it's a vest? Let me let me, let me um let me stand it up so you guys can see it better. It's a name for this too, but I can't think of the name right now. And this is what I'm talking about. When you can't think of something, then you know what it is, but it goes missing. Sweater vest. Vest, okay guys, a vest. 
You know what? Cause when I when I look at this, I never knew like this would be a vest. Because you know a vest is like a vest, you know, it has an opening, like a zipper, you can open it and for this. Okay, a sweater vest. All right, guys. Granddaddy. <laughs> nice yellow. Okay, guys, now I know what this is. This is a sweater vest. Okay, I'll take that. Let me see what this one. So this will be another sweater, another sweater vest. Okay, this is nice, right? All depends on how you wear this. What, it, what are you going to wear underneath with it? Sweater vest. Okay, vest. All right, guys. Thank you. You guys are educating me on some things that I've forgotten. Oh, I don't know. This is another sweater vest. Okay. We're in the men, the men box now. Stuff for men. Okay, guys. We're almost done, guys. We have this box and we have one more box. And then that's it for the Friday. Some nice dark blue. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. Jeans. Levi's. Some nice Levi's. I like this. Some nice Levi's jeans. Yeah, Levi's been riding for a long time. Levi's been around for a while and they still holding it down. Let's see what's this one? Nordica. Okay, we got another Nordica. You know, back in the days. And still still today, name brand. People were doing was doing all kinds of crazy things just so they can have a name brand clothes. For Elsh, you'll be especially in New York when I was when my time, my era in New York, you better have some name brand on or else you're gonna be you're gonna get roasted. You better not have no skips. You guys know what a skips? You better not have any skips on your feet. Skips are, are no-name brand sneakers that have no-name imitation. They call them things skippies. If you get caught with some skips on, they're going to they gonna tease you and make you cry. That's the era I grew up in where you had skips on your feet. You go to school, they're going to laugh at you because you, you don't have a name brand sneakers. Especially first day of school, when school opened up the first day, you better have, because as soon as you walk in that classroom, everybody looking at your feet, looking at your clothes when you walk in the classroom first day of school, they're trying to see what you're wearing. That's the era I grew up in. I remember I used to have to like, Ask my friends and stuff to wear their old sneakers and stuff just because it was name brand, just because I didn't want to get laughed at. I was getting fresh with other people's secondhand clothes. That's what I was getting fresh with. Because my mom had a genius idea to buy me some Reebok pumps that was from Payless, and that was the imitation Reebok pumps. And them kids used to laugh at me. They used to come and squeeze my basketball so the air can come out from my fake Reebok pumps. That, you know, them kids was bad, yo. They was bad. Yeah, my mom's want to pay. My mom's, I mean, she tried her best, but she thought like taking me to Payless and, and Conway and all these cheap stores was a good thing. But I was in public school. And in public school, them kids was vicious. 
Imagine playing hooky because you ain't got good clothes on. You got to play hooky because you ain't want people laughing at you. That's the type of time I was on. And I just couldn't understand it. You know, I didn't understand why. But that's how those kids was. You know, their parents were buying them Nikes, all the new Jordans that came out, the Bo Jacksons. They had all these things. And as a kid, I wanted, I wanted those things too, but my parents couldn't afford those things. So I had to like go to my friend's house and look at their sneakers, their old ones. Can I have that one? Because it's Nike, so it has a name brand on it. So can I have it so that way nobody could laugh at me? Yeah, that's, that's the time I was on. But now that I'm older now, name brand things means nothing to me. But when I was younger, name brand thing was everything to me. But now I'm an adult. I'm not young and dumb anymore. Name brand things means nothing to me. All right, guys, let's get it. Yeah, it was bad, guys. It was really bad. <laughs> so I started. Have you guys, have any of y'all ever been bullied in school because of clothes? Especially public school. When I was in, when I was in private school, I was in a private school called St. Mark. It was in Harlem. It was a private school in Harlem called St. Mark. I was in that school. We wore uniform. And I was good. I was good with my uniform. I wasn't picked on. But when my parents couldn't afford that no more, they put me in public school. That's where my nightmare began. Yeah, my nightmare began in public school. That's when you met all those bad kids who will wait for you after school and jump you just because they want to prove that they are tough. They wait after school, picking on people, beating them up, breaking people's jaws. That's the type of era, the school that I, school that I went to, filled with bullies, people bringing guns, kids bringing guns to school. And eventually, if you can't beat them, what they say, you can't beat them, you got to join them. And that's what I did. I ended up joining them, trying to fit in because I ain't want to be, I ain't want, I ain't want to get my jaw broke. Unfortunately, guys, that's the hand I was dealt. And that's how I played it. I give them, I give my hand in because... I was not a good player. Yeah, them kids will tell you, yo, they, they wait for you after school. And you know, I was a, I was like a, I didn't have no brothers, no sisters. I was by myself. So I was like a loner. But thank God, I hope kids nowadays don't have to go through that. I hope they, they are not going through that. Because I know how that how that feel. Getting bullied. This is a nice one. Okay, we in the guys. Yeah, Mark, New York City schools was bad. Especially doing like I can say that the, the early 90s, that's when the gang, the bloods, that's when the bloods, the, the gangs was taking over. They was just, those kids was going around cutting people, um, slicing people, slicing other kids' face, all those things. Going to school, I was scared going to school because, you know, you got people who are in group, when they are in a group. That's when they, they are tough. You can't beat 
person that's in a group. Unless you got some type of real karate skills. But even if you beat them up, you got to come back to school and see them again. So it doesn't end. It's going to continue. Hey, what's up, Pen Dizzy? Pen Dizzy in the house. We're just going through some, some gifts for our brothers and sisters. And this is from our, our girl, Karen, all the way from Miami, Florida. You know, she always come, for, come through for the home team. Okay, I know what this is, a tank top. <laughs> I know this for sure. This is nice. Reebok, right? It's a nice tank top. Once again, red. Sexy color. Okay. We're almost done, guys. We're almost down to the bottom of the barrel. Well, the bottom of the box. This is another nice polo. Yeah, see, Mark, Mark, no. New York City schools, especially the public schools, the public schools was the worst. Catholic school was okay, but public school, they had metal detectors in the school because that's how bad it was. They got to put... Like I say, have you seen that movie, Lane On Me, with Joe Clark, Isaha, that bad school where he was principal at? That's the type of school I'm talking about. It's a nice one. Oh, you yeah, you you hear Mary? Mary know if I remember the metal detectors. Yep, we had to go through the metal detectors. Imagine they had metal detectors in school, guys. That's how bad the school was. And now it's even worse now because look, fast forward. What's going on now? People are shooting up the schools now. Right? Fast forward. What's going on? People are shooting up schools. So you still can't get a break. I like this color. It's like a, a navy or army green. Oh, look, guys. You know about the army fatigue? For my New York people. Army fatigue. Army jackets. Yeah, I'm from the New York era where we used to wear army jackets and we never been in a war in our life, but we was wearing whole army jackets, army pants, like we was coming from Iraq or something. Only my New York people know that era when we were, the guys wearing army jackets, all the, the, the army pants, the Timberland boots and the army hat, the whole outfit, the black, the tan, we had it. We thought we was like, we never been, we never been bent to war, but we were, we on the block looking like we army men, so like our tank is around the corner. But yeah, yep. Army fatigue. Yeah, if you're from New York, you know about the army jacket. If you're from New York, you know about the army jackets. Right, see, Mary, you know, Mary, you know about the beef and broccolis? <laughs> Them Timberland boots we call beef and broccolis. The green and the brown ones. 
that you gotta have with your army fatigue they then the whole outfit was official I'm sorry if y'all not from New York you ain't gonna know the lingo that I'm speaking right now it's a New York thing but yeah in New York we used to wear army pants army jackets like we was from the war that was like the coolest thing looking like veterans and we we are not <laughs> Mary knows yeah, it's a New York thing guys it's it's an era that we was in and those styles was like that was it the girls used to also have the uh, you know the bamboo earrings, the airbrush pants, the airbrush shirts, the jean jackets, and it was fly back then. Back then, all those things was like, was it. I miss New York. I'll go back and visit my, my hood. Hopefully I'll go visit New York this summer. Go back, go see my old block that I grew up on. Go visit my old school. I will show you guys. I'll take y'all on a tour. Because I'm gonna go, I'm a my mom live live in New York. My dad live in New York. All my family live in New York. No, well, not all my family. My two aunts live in Philly. But my mom and my dad live in New York. Yeah, unfortunately, my mom still live in the projects. Yeah, she still live in the projects. And she live on, on the last floor of the project, the 14th floor. The last floor, that's where she live. This remind, reminded me of some, like, Carhartt. You know, like, the Carhartt? That's what this remind me of, Carhartt. Yeah, but I miss those days. Summertime, I used to cross the bridge from Manhattan to go to the Bronx to visit my dad. Because there was a bridge that connect Harlem and the Bronx. And you just go across that bridge and you can see Yankee Stadium, all those places. Yeah, I used to walk along that bridge all the time. Yep, on the 14th floor. And those pissy, those pissy elevators. You know, if you if you from the projects, you know about those pissy elevators. People be pissing in the elevators and stuff. It be like, I mean, many days I I took the steps because imagine fourteen floors, you taking a step, you gonna have some big, big legs when you're done. Okay, we we are done with this box, guys. We have one more box to go. And that will be the end of the show. But thanks once again for, you know, for vibing with your boy Mau Mau. Your pow pow. Okay. Okay, and last but not least, this one. Cool. It's a nice, cool one. There you go, guys. I'm going to grab the last box, all right, everyone? I'm grabbing the last box. Okay. That's the last box, everyone. Let's get into it. I hope you guys 
are enjoying your Friday. I hope you have something delicious to eat today. I hope you are taking good care of yourself. Treating yourself good because you are a flower. So you have to water yourself every day to continue to grow. Also protect your energy, okay? Protect your energy because it's a, it's a lot of people out there with bad vibes. So tell them to keep their bad vibes to themselves. Because you don't want to get caught up in their bad vibes. That's not good for you. So let them keep their bad vibes to themselves. Okay, guys. That's right. When, you're, when you are doing good and people want to start being negative, tell them to keep their bad vibe to themselves because that's going to affect you. So you have to protect your energy. Let's see what is this. This oh this is this like a tablecloth? Maybe you guys can help me. I don't know what this is. It reminds me of like a tablecloth. I think that's what it is, a tablecloth. I'm not sure guys what this is. Maybe y'all can help me out. If you guys have been helping me for like forever now. Right? What is that, guys? What is that? Is that a tablecloth? To keep, oh, to keep stuff dry. Oh, okay. All right. See? <laughs> now I don't know. See, thank you, Miss R. That's awesome. See, you, you have just educated me again. Certain things I don't know about. That's why it's good to ask, right, Miss R? As a teacher, it's good to ask, right? If you don't know, put your hands up and ask. Look at this. Oh, this is nice. Am I going to find a billion dollars one day? Am I going to find diamonds one day? And me and Miss R is going to be rich forever. <laughs> Miss R, one day I'm going to find something and we're going to be rich forever. But this is nice. Right? I like this. It's a nice bag. Okay, let's put that over here. Uh, okay, this is nice. It's a nice material. It's a nice material. Let me fix my pants. I don't have no belt on them. No. My pants look weird. <laughs> my bad, y'all. I had to fix my pants because it was looking weird. All right, okay, cool. Let's move along. Let's move along. Hold on one second, all right, guys? One second. All right, here we go. Let's get back to work. We got work to do. Let's get back to it. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Look at that, guys. Wow. I like, oh, the asses. That's nice. Look. Vinyl. That's vinyl. I like that. Let's see what's on the back. Team. Team UTD. I'm gonna say Team AML. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice one, Miss R. It's a nice one. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got some shorts. This is nice too. Some nice shorts. Give you guys a couple seconds. Take it in. I heard you came with some money in your pocket. Do you have some money in your pocket? Oh, you broke? All right, forget it. <laughs> that's, a, that's nice. I like that. Okay, let's go. 
Oh, look at this one. NB, New Balance. That's another one, guys. Is New Balance still kicking it? That's my error, too. New Balance. You guys know about New Balance? Have you had a pair of a New Balance? You can see New Balance. That's another classic, right? New Balance. Is New Balance still in business? I haven't heard anything about New Balance in a while. Thanks, Mary, for the... That's a sports bra. Okay, I kind of have an idea what that was. Someone said female tank top. That's a female tank top. Sports bra. Yes, New Balance is very... Are they still popular, Mary? Haven't heard about New Balance in a while. Sammy, what's up, Katrin? Katrin in the house. Shout out to you, wonderful people. Angel, shout out to Angel Z. Shout out to Belinda, shout out to Mark. Shout out to Mary Nevis, Mary Packer, Pendizzi. Lady Kate. Kelly, everyone that's in the house, Miss R. Oh, this is nice. I like the color. It's a nice color. You guys like that? It's a nice color, right? Okay, all right. All right, let's, let's see what else we got over here. Oh, the teddy bears. And look what it say. It say AML Family. It say AML on it. Let's bring it up closer. Some nice teddy bear, right? We got a couple teddy bears. People in Kensington love teddy bears. When I went out, that was giving it out. It was like, this is mine. This one is mine. Oh, so that one is mine. So yeah, they love teddy bears. But oh, that one almost fell. This is the AML family. This is the AML family, guys. I'm lining the AML family up. Because each and every one of us is unique. So I'm lining up the AML family. Oh, I'm running out of space. We got everybody in the house. We got the whole audience in the house. I don't know who was this. That could be you. All right, let's see. Okay, let me bring this over here, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do the whole AML family. AML family in the house, drop something. So we got sheep. Okay, let me bring the whole AML family in the picture. You wanna sit over here, you over here. Okay, you're gonna sit over here. You're gonna sell over here. Man, it's always the little people always got problems. The little people always got problems. Let me put that over there. Okay. Oops. Like like that. What's that lady that sang that song? Oops. Tweet, right? What's that lady name that's oops? Nah, nah, that's not her. That's Britney Spears I'm talking about. It was another lady named Tweet. She made some type of song called Oops. Can't think of it right now. I'm back in that, in that room. Again, this, it went empty. Okay, guys, I'm lining up the AML family for this portrait. You're supposed to be sitting, I think. Okay, guys. We got something else. Yeah, we we wrapping things up. Oh man. Did I did I mess something up? Oh man, I flipped the script, guys. My bad, y'all. It's going it's about to come. 
It's about to come back. I apologize. I flipped the script. Because my hand hit something. And it flipped the script. All right, we back. I say my big hands in the way. I apologize about that. Let's see, let's get back to it. I have a little delay on my second phone. Let me um, refresh it. One second, y'all. Apologize. And of course, I add this plane. Well, I'm trying to see this live. One second, y'all. We, we, we about to wrap things up. Just want to make sure. Yeah, my phone is like a delay. Let me see. Yeah, it was a little delay. Let's see. Yeah, Mal is having technical difficulties on set. I think that's that's fine right there. Okay, that's fine, guys. That's the best I could do for now. So I don't want to take up all day trying to fix that. It's time to take a family picture. Yeah, some people. Oh, this this guy fancy. He got a gold chain on his neck. And but he think he, he yeah he think he's gangster. Okay. Damn, it's a lot of people came to the party. AML family is deep. Oh, look at this guy. The wolf. Right? It's, no, I don't I don't know what the I think is that a wolf or what? Okay guys, that's the end of the AML family show. This is Karen right here. She's a unicorn. Let me see which one is. Let me see. This is Mary Neves right here. Let me see. And this is Mary Packer. Let me see. This is Mark. Let me see who else. Who else I could find. Let me see who else I want to give a shout out to. Okay, this is this is Belinda, Belinda Oliver. That's Belinda right there. Let me see who this is gonna be. This is Penny. It's Pen Dizzy right here. Let me see who this right here. Oh, okay. That's my girl Robin right there. She got sauce. That's Robin in the house. Let me see. Who this going to be? This is Mark B. That's all we have for now, guys. Thank you so much for joining the show. Love you guys. I got to go now. Enjoy the rest of your day, okay, guys? Love you all. Enjoy your Friday. Peace and love. Looking at the ceiling. Deuces. Yeah.